All right. I figured I'd try something a little bit different today. Let's do a video critiquing a Navian NCB that one of my subscribers sent me. And um, it's unique. So I just want to uh, show this to you. So let's go to this one right here. There we go. Here is an overview. All right. I took the liberty of concealing the installing contractor uh, sticker. That would be right, right where my mouse cursor is. Uh, it was also the request of the person the subscriber who sent me this recent install and my first comment right away was wow we have an ncb series with an indirect right I'm like that's odd and then of course my eyes quickly went to the grunfus alpha ecm circulators there the use of cast iron check valves there and there. Why did they use that when the Alpha has integrated flow check? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I was a little, a little surprised. I was like, well, if they're gonna do an indirect, why didn't they do an NHB, right? Good question. So let's just go over these videos, but not these videos, these pictures. So let's start with the obvious to the trained eye. And this white pipe here, right, is the condensate drain tubing. They put a little union right there, right? And it goes to this condensate pump. So I don't see a neutralizer. So I emailed the guy and he sent me this. <laughs> Apparently there's this little tube, a little bottle that's filled with the, these, I guess, neutralizing um, rocks that very little volume there so you do need more mass and that's why you know condensate neutralizers you know are fairly large you know they're at least about a foot long sometimes two or three inches in diameter and the condensate goes in one end it drains out the other and the neutralizing media uh, helps lower the um, the acidity levels of that condensate that way it could be safely drained so if you have to change this every month, I guess then that's okay. But if you're only changing this media once a year, uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's check out some of these pictures, right? And let's just critique this thing and see what we got. All right, here's a front view. Uh, I like the use of press fittings. You know, everything's nice and neat and organized overall. He's got his expansion tank uh, for the domestic, uh, domestic hot water and the right orientation and the extra number 30 down below also looks the same but let's look at the uh, navian primary loop which is directly below the ncb right here right let's forget about the exhaust and fresh air this looks okay uh, as long as it's properly supported right he's got the navi clean on the supply side right why is the navi clean on the supply side you want to capture the those metals that will make its way back to the boiler, not filter it as it's leaving the boiler. That makes no sense, right? So let's follow. Here's our primary loop, right? Right here. And then it's just, it's kind of asinine the way this was piped in, but I guess they had a sale on press fittings. So we come out of the left side of this Navian NHB primary loop. He goes to the left, makes a U-turn, connects to the Addy Navi Clean on the bottom, I'm sorry, on the top, then goes to the bottom. And if we look close enough, it looks like some kind of, yeah, like some kind of fitting there, a valve. Then he's got his spiral vent, right? And at the bottom of the spiral vent, yes, we have an elbow, a T, a bowl valve, the expansion tank, and he has the Kalefi pressure reducing valve, not with the built-in integrated gauge. Um, I do not see a backflow preventer here. No, there's no backflow preventer there. 
He's got two zones here, and looks like two T's there. Again, the Grumpfus Alpha. Similar setup to what I do, an isolation flange on the bottom, isolation flange with purge on top. But the use of this cast iron check valves, not necessary. Um, the other one, one goes left, one goes right. Eh, it looks cool, it looks nice. Like the diamond plate in the back. And then we continue along. It's kind of hard to see, but then we go over here. So I have a picture of that. Let's go there next. Yeah, another, another view of that. But I want to see after the second space heating zone right there. Let's look underneath quickly uh, at the near boiler piping. Everything looks nice. Got the uh, tankless flush valves for the domestic hot water side. But again, there's a Navi Addy, uh, the Navi Clean by Addy on the supply side. A temperature and pressure gauge, TMP gauge right there. Gas piping looks nice. There's your low water cutoff. Low water cutoff um, really should not be here, guys. If you're going to put in a low water cutoff, it should be, let's see, 27. It should be up here where you would put in your uh, automatic air vent. On top and on the side of the T, you would put the lower to cut off. I use that tapping there, right here, for my temperature and pressure relief valve, right there. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. P pressure relief, uh, relief valve, 30 PSI pressure relief valve, uh, 174A, for example. All right, so now let's go to, I want to see the indirect piping, let's see. See, there you go. So I, I would put my low water cutoff, my guard dog RB24 right here. And again, my uh, Takeo or my Kalefi automatic air vent there. This looks nice and fine. All right, this is number 26. Let's close that. I need, I think I need 28. Is this it? Yes, here we go. All right. So here is our indirect fired water heater set up as another zone. Uh, again, you know, for... What they did here, they should have just put in an NHB. Now, the client who had this installed told me that he, his contractor did this because apparently the storage tank is just for a bathroom. Maybe it's a large tub. I, didn't, I don't recall the details, or I don't think he told me maybe. Um, and then the, the combi side of the NCB is for the rest of the house. So again, circulator here. This is going, pumping towards, away from the boiler, good. So, boiler supply. But why they used cast iron uh, flow checks, take flow checks is, I don't know, it's kind of uh, kind of stupid because the Grunfus Alphas haven't built in. Uh, and if you guys were watched my videos a couple years ago, I was a big fan of ECM circulars when they came out and I bought, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 Grunfus Alpha circulators. I found them um, at a quite an attractive price from my local distributor. And wow, massive failure rate. If you had a, just a little pocket of air, these things were kaput. It would just be dash dash and it wouldn't be doing anything. I think my failure rate was close to 75%. 75%. I even had the Grunfus rep come out to a couple jobs just to see maybe I was doing something wrong because, again, I have such a massive failure rate on a, such a brand new product. So I quickly abandoned the Alphas and I went to the Taiko uh, 007Es. And up until recently, I put those in. Now I'm doing a 0015Es. So um, that's about it. I don't see anything else uh, wrong with this. Um, just the piping errors with the Navi Clean, the lack of a good neutralizer um, canister. So you don't have to risk jeopardizing uh, the plumbing within the house. You want to neutralize that condensate. What else we have here? Overall, not bad. Not bad. I would have went with a different model. Uh, it looks like a nice clean job. Uh, this piece right here, I don't see any support unless this is some kind of support right there. But I think that's just, you know, that's just the seam of the the diamond plate on the wall. So I don't see any support for this tank and it's quite evident by how this pipe is bowing out towards the right. You see that, no support there. Um, but it looks, looks decent, looks nice and pretty. You know, if there is, 
you know, steel baseboard convectors, radiators in this house, it's going to uh, contaminate the uh, the Navian with uh, those metal fragments because the net magnet is in the wrong location. That's about it. Let me get your thoughts, feedback, comments, criticism down in the comment section down below. If you are a 15 percenter, I would appreciate you supporting the channel even further by giving me a thumbs up and commenting. If you're an 85 percenter, 85 percent of the people who watch my videos on this channel and like most YouTube channels uh, are not subscribers to the creator's channel. So if you aren't a subscriber and you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button. Just takes a minute. You're not going to get spam. Nothing's going to happen, but uh, you'll help out my channel and help our rankings with YouTube. Thank you very much. God bless. Be well.